how's it going i'm in norfolk at the norfolk botanical garden and i was off work today i've been wanting to come out to this area and uh, when i was looking for places to visit i i settled on coming here I, there were several other places that were higher on my list but uh yeah it's the middle of may everything's in bloom so i figured it's a, a perfect time to come and yeah it's a beautiful 70 degree day so nice to walk out in some nature and this isn't necessarily a, uh, a historical site but I'll give what history I can and to let you know this place opened 1938 and he was started by a guy named Thomas Thompson he was the Norfolk City manager yeah I think there's some stuff going on back here I'm gonna walk through that and yeah Norfolk City manager he was from South Carolina and uh, he wanted to mimic the azalea gardens they, they had down there and um yeah this was originally just an azalea garden but it, it quickly grew to this 158 acre uh, botanical garden so yeah a lot of bees buzzing around over there I think this is as close as I'm going to get. European honeybee. closed Up there's the NATO tower. Walk up that.
in remembrance of a special eagle so yeah statues in remembrance of an eagle that came here annually to lay eggs I would have approximately 19 eaglets each year and uh, in 2011 it was hit by an airplane so kind of sad A lot of great myrtles, a lot of azaleas, of course, uh, a lot of birds, a lot of insects, dragonflies, and, and so forth. A lot of cool statues. And tickets are $15, just to let you know. next to Norfolk Airport. <laughs> some Japanese plants and yeah some bonsai trees. Bonsai, an ancient horticultural art that originated in China. Mini maple tree.
Japanese maple. to do it. This would be Renaissance Court.
some Italian sculptures it looks looks like There are so many gods, so many creeds, so many paths that wind and wind when just the art of being kind is all sad world's need. So this used to all be swamp land before they created these gardens. Uh, since I like to name drop, I'll tell you that they used to hold the International Azalea Festival here, here in Norfolk. And every year they would name an Azalea Queen. And uh, one year Richard Nixon's daughter was crowned queen. Uh, back here is a sculpturary about this guy Moses Jacob Ezekiel and uh, I've read up on this guy he's a pretty eccentric character he was a gay Jewish man who fought for the Confederacy and uh, later became a sculptor he was born in Richmond 1844 uh, graduated from VMI he was the first Jewish cadet to enroll in VMI uh, once the war started let's see he saw battle in the I saw you saw action in the Battle of Newmarket. I uh, saw action toward the end of the war defending Richmond. And uh, let's see, uh, he was uh, Corporal of the Guard uh, at Stonewall Jackson's uh, funeral. Stonewall Jackson was a, an instructor at VMI. And after the war, uh, after the war, under under Robert Lee, uh, Robert E. Lee's suggestion, he moved to Berlin. It's Palladius. He moved to Berlin to study sculpting. And when he was in Berlin, he started working for the newspaper and then was charged with spying for France during the Franco-Prussian War. So he was thrown in jail in Berlin. Uh, he got out of jail, uh, eventually wound up in Rome, and that, that's where he lived the rest of his life. And uh, he had a famous uh, Rubens. Uh, I'm not familiar with that guy. And uh, these statues represent uh, art in uh, Western civilization. Yeah, so Re Rembrandt over here. So yeah, he moved to Rome. He lived there with his uh, boyfriend in secrecy for about 45 years. And uh, yeah, his uh, his studio was uh, was famous. Uh, Ulysses S. Grant, Howard Taft would come visit. And a funny note, he had the Confederate battle flag hanging in his sculptor studio in, in Rome. So, um, ended up dying of pneumonia. He's buried at the Arlington National Cemetery. Um, let's see. Oh, he's got a lot of famous sculptures. The Thomas Jefferson sculptor at UVA, that's him. 
He's got a sculptor, I believe it was the Statue of Religious Freedom, or Religious Liberty, something like that up in Philadelphia. And I actually saw that uh, a few weeks ago when I was up there. Oh, and another uh, weird side note, he actually fathered a child when he was 14 years old with a mulatto girl. Uh, it was his father's servant, so I assume maybe she was probably a slave. Yeah, and then she came, she would visit him later in life. So, yeah, I don't know. Kind of weird, but um, uh, Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> That's cool. Raphael. Michelangelo, I guess all the Ninja Turtles. I'm not familiar with him. And a cobblestone bridge down here. entering the enchanted forest.
bunch of azaleas. some lunch and then I'm headed out so yeah that's it for my video so as always if you like these kinds of videos uh, you hit the like button or, or you can subscribe so anyway see ya